Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erin and in today's video, um, my mom and I are going to the marketplace, which is where they sell um, vintage and antiques. And my mom actually has a booth in there, so I'm gonna go help her um, put some furniture and redecorate in there. And then after that, I'm probably gonna film um, walking around and showing you the other vendors. And I might do some shopping. They usually have a 20% or 10% off um, a booth in there. So let's go check it out. I really regret not getting this shaker set with the holder and hanger. I've never seen it like that before and it was a really good price. I thought these two lights would look really pretty in your kitchen at night lit up. And this next booth is actually my mom's with this really pretty couch and she has it full of all kinds of vintage finds and I found this ironstone chamber pot in her booth I really wanted these perfume bottles, but they were just a little bit more than I wanted to spend. I also found this set of small little plates and they were actually 10% off. This is the first item I found at the marketplace, and I actually found it in my mom's booth. I did not know that she had this. It is a uh, vintage ironstone chamber pot with the wheat design, and I just got done telling her earlier this week that I would like to collect all the pieces, um, or most of the pieces, for my ironstone collection because I do collect ironstone and I display it in my kitchen. And um, so I was really thankful that she gifted this to me because I, I have this pitcher and the wheat design is not very detailed compared to the chamber pot and it is cracked on the side, but um, it is ironstone. So now I have my second piece in the collection. So I am thankful for that and I love it. The second thing I found at the marketplace were these butter pats and there is nine of them. Um, I thought they were really pretty. I love when they have like crazing in the glass and they have gold around the edges and they all have the same floral pattern on them. I have started collecting vintage china like this um, this past year and I have decided to display it in the girls room. I am redoing their bedroom and making it very vintage and girly. So these will go perfect in there. The third item I found at the marketplace was this pitcher. 
I have never seen one in this shape before. I just love the coloration on it. I love when I can find pieces that are really aged like this, but yet it is still in good condition so that you can um, display it. And the floral pattern is on both sides. And there's the marking on the bottom. So this will also go in the girls' room. I also found this really pretty um, pearl necklace. They are like a off-white. I have a vintage mannequin in the girls' room, and I thought about putting the pearls on the mannequin. And the last thing that I found, um, which I was really surprised to find, is this vintage book with great detail on it. Um, it is actually, it is from Sweden. It is a Swedish book, and I decided to grab it because well, I am part Swedish, and I just thought that this would be a great piece to display in my house, and I thought the illustrations were really neat. I'm not sure exactly what all the words mean, but I am going to look it up to find more information on this book. But it is pretty old, the pages are falling out. But I'm just going to use it as a display piece. And there's the back. Okay, so that is everything that I found for today. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. I am going to link my Instagram account and my Etsy shop down below if you want to go check that out. And I will also link the marketplace down below if you would like to go there. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.